The Tamihi Geothermal Power Station is the largest construction project of its type in New Zealand and will make a significant contribution to the electricity supply when completed in 2013. We've been on site about eight months now. We've made extraordinary progress despite a very difficult winter. By September, our main access road was opened up, allowing much easier access for heavy equipment and materials we need for construction. Board piling was 90% complete in Turbine Hall 1 and Turbine Hall 2 by that time, and we were able to make significant progress on the slabs for the basements as well as the columns to support the turbine table. Earthworks across the site were 80% complete as well. Well, we're approaching completion with the earthworks. We're at about 80% at the moment. We've had a few challenging issues regarding the material selection, the compaction of the ground and the uh, placement of the fill in certain areas, but we've overcome those. Behind me, where the cooling towers are gonna go, we've replaced the ashy areas and the sandy silt with structural fill. And behind further is the pylon where we'll be removing Eventually, uh, 68,000 cubes in two stages. And that fill will be used to preload the cooling tower so that we get the right compaction. The Tamihi site's got quite variable soil uh, in it. It's presented a number of uh, geotechnical challenges to us, particularly with uh, weak ash soils. In the area of the turbine halls, we were initially anticipating using driven piles throughout, considering the soil properties and difficulties a little bit more. We've actually uh, changed to using a majority of board piles and then breaking the piles out to form a cap on a very thick foundation slab which is 1200 millimetres thick. We'll be then constructing the main columns for supporting the turbine generator on its elevated pedestal. So it's a very, very substantial structure. The turbine and generators are very large. They're each several hundred tonnes. They will be producing approximately 83 megawatts gross each. After the steam passes through the turbine, it's condensed in the condenser and vacuum, and that fluid is then passed to the cooling towers where about 80% of it will evaporate. The balance, though, is passed over to the steam fuel facilities where it's re-injected back down into the resource. This avoids disposing of this chemically undesirable fluid to the natural waterways and is uh, a substantial environmental improvement on the uh, original station design. Huge efforts gone into over the last three, four months through some very difficult uh, periods during winter. The workforce is in incredibly important to us. Currently we've got 40 odd people on site. That's going to grow 10 times over the next six months to over 400 people come March 2012. So people will be coming from all around New Zealand. We're bringing people from overseas as well. We've got basically the United Nations here help helping us in this project. It's late uh, in September and work on site is really ramping up. Uh, we have finished the piling in uh, turbine hall number one and we're about 99% completed turbine hall number two. There's a whole lot of action going on at the moment and a lot of pre-planning. We have our carpenters preparing the formwork for the next big pour which will be the columns for the turbine hall. At the moment we're preparing for tonight's big pour, the base on turbine hall number one. And now less than three months later, we're making incredible progress on the site. We have the main access gate electronically controlled now, and we have several hundred vehicles a day on average coming through. Much of the landscape we've rearranged so dramatically, it's beginning to look as though it's always been this way. In fact, we've just passed 15 weeks of continuous perfect scores on our environmental inspections. The site is a hive of activity right now. We're averaging over 300 people on site per day and we take their safety and health issues very seriously. We're totally committed to our objective of home without harm, everyone, every day. Over the last three months, we've made some tremendous progress here at Tamihi. The workforce has been assembled and we're really hammering home the turbine halls, particularly SDG1, which is on our critical path. There's been a great number of people working in that area. It's been very congested. The guys have worked well together and the planning has been exceptional amongst everybody. We've got the base slave completed now. The columns are up. We've started the basement walls and very soon we're going to be starting the backfilling around those. 
with the columns for the uh, for the turbine table, each of those are about 14 and a half metres high. Each one has about 120 cubes of concrete and they're heavily reinforced. There's about 60 tonne of Rio in each column. Earthworks have progressed really well on site over the last three months. Of the 500,000 cubes approximately shifted, there's about five to 6,000 to go. So we're in the throes of really closing this job up. Part of the earthworks also is, is about completing all the, all the roads and the hard standing on site. We've got something like, oh geez, 500 containers coming onto the site, let alone hundreds of thousands of tonnes of other ancillary equipment. So it's important we get that completed over the next two or three weeks. We've got some great people here working with us. We're incredibly fortunate. The teams are working well together. The subcontractors we have here are working well together. It's a great place to work. Yeah, from a design perspective, this is a very complex project. We're about 80% complete on engineering overall. Um, for the structural foundations, they are now substantially complete. Producing the design deliverables to keep up with construction need has been extremely demanding. People have put in a tremendous amount of work, very, very long hours and weekends to achieve this. But now that we're sort of getting over the cusp of that, it's extremely satisfying to look back and reflect on it. Yeah, the whole design for the project's been done using 3D modelling, and that's proved extremely helpful. Not only for uh, construction to be able to see what they need to build, but also for the designers to be able to uh, undertake multidisciplinary reviews. We've been able to electronically walk the owner through the plant they're going to be receiving. For operators, this has been extremely effective. Great challenges, a lot of problems solved. A lot of innovation gone into what we've produced and uh, now seeing it come to, com come to fruition is very, very satisfying. We started the project as a three-party JV, and to date we've made tremendous progress in working together as one team. Continuous feedback on the daily wins and losses has been the key to success with our team. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their effort on the project. It's been a fantastic first year.